Hey there, it's Missy Zarbach with The Magnificent Method, and today's Free Advice Friday. Um, I'd really like to take a moment to talk about something that I take extremely seriously and something that I've worked with for a few years now, and that's called slut bashing. And so I work with a whole lot of women who have a whole lot of sexual blocks because of the way that they were raised and that they were bashed by their own families um, and by society, and it's really quite sad. And so um, there was a book this book actually called The Ethical Slut. It was written by Dossie Easton and Janet W. Hardy. Um, I picked this up because I was working with people that were having alternative relationship choices and I wanted to know more about it. Um, but what I ended up finding was that I was a slut basher and that I wanted to eradicate that from my life and I didn't want to live that way anymore. And so why do we slut bash? What, what does that look like? Okay. Um, usually two reasons that we could slut bash or that we would slut bash openly, publicly, is that one, I don't want my sister, my cousin, my friend to be blacklisted by society. I don't want other people to think badly about her and so I'm going to come in and I'm going to privately talk to her about her situation and I'm going to judge her based on my own perception and I'm going to make her feel badly about her choices. Second to that, and this is the deep, dirty, nasty part of this judgment, um, and we've all, we've all done this. And so there's no shame in admitting that we, we've, we've done things that we're not proud of. We just have to do better. Okay. And so I am absolutely going to say that I have slept bashed people and I have been slept bashed and it's not a healthy way to go. This is, we're smarter than this now. We don't have to live like this anymore. So the second gross, dirty reason that we're going to judge somebody is that we have an interfere that we're going to be judged for the same damn reason. And so maybe you watch really weird porn or maybe, um, Maybe you like a type of sexuality that is not really mainstream. Um, maybe you have to wear special costumes in your sexuality. Maybe, you know, maybe you're sleeping with people of your same gender and you have to do it on the down low because of how you were raised. And you cannot help but that stuff just bleh, bursts, out, bursts right out of your mouth. And it's because you're trying to throw people off of your own slut trail. I said it. I'll say it again. You're trying to throw people off of your own slut trail. And so that is what I would consider to be a major character flaw, major weakness of the self. That is an emotional emergency for sure. And so like, let's really look at this. Let's be honest about it. What does easy really look like? Easy is someone, male or female, that has sexual experiences with other human beings um, that they don't, they don't really feel good about. And they're giving these things away, and these things aren't sacred, and they're not respected. They, you know, at the end of it, you know, they have that temporary fix, that temporary dopamine release, um, and then they have to go cry themselves to sleep. Or that, you know, you know, sometimes people are sexually assaulted, and they have to relive that over and over and over and over again because they get caught in that energetic loop. And that is really a tragedy. And so, um, oftentimes when people are sexually assaulted, they have PTSD. This is not something that we talk about openly, and I'm very willing to be this guy. Um, you know, there's there's a saying that one in three women are assaulted sexually. I think it's much closer to one in one women. I don't know. I don't. I've never met a single woman ever in my life that hasn't either been molested, raped, or had her ass grabbed at a ballpark. Or you know what I'm saying, like. Or had her boobs grabbed when she was out on the dance floor dancing. Or had to, like, run into a bathroom to hide from some guy that was just weirdly following her. I have never met a woman that hasn't experienced this kind of um, energy in her life. And that's ridiculous. So what I want to say is that when somebody is in that space, they need your love. They don't need your judgment. They need you to open space for them so they can heal whatever it is that needs to be healed. Because it needs to be healed. It is, uh, it's an open, gaping, emotional wound that if we had a wound that big on our physical body, we'd go see a surgeon. But for whatever reason in our society, when we have emotional wounds, we're going to look down our nose at other people that are emotionally wounded. And we're going to make them feel bad about that. And that, quite frankly, is fucking gross. It's pretty gross. So um, let's now talk about consenting adults. So when, if you have a friend that has had you know, 450 sexual partners, if all of them have been consenting adults and everybody was safe and everybody was respecting each other, that's really quite lovely, isn't it? 
you have somebody who knows what they like, you have somebody who's willing to protect their health, willing to protect their spiritual selves, and they're willing to do it in a way that's appropriate and that nobody gets hurt in. That's, that's a love way. Um, you can have one person who's had three sexual partners, but each one of those partners was, you know, um, demanded things of that person that they couldn't hang with and they had to feel bad about. And she was weak in that space. And that is far less healthy. Far less healthy. So what we want to get into is proper education. And proper education looks like having conversations like this. M making it normal. And I was raised in a household. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Um, I was raised in a household where we did talk about masturbation. And I could very much ask what an orgasm was and how you know that functioned. I was never given, you know, this is your PP. Um, I was, when, when I learned about human sexuality, my mom sat down with me with an encyclopedia. And I learned the difference between outer labia, inner labia, um, the vagina, the anus. I learned about, I learned about my body. And so should there be, you know, should, could there have been an event where I was taken advantage of improperly? I could have gone back to my mom and said, this is exactly what happened. And these are the parts that were affected. My mom wanted me to be empowered in that way. And you know what? I am. Thank, thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Um, proper education looks like teaching boys to respect women, teaching young boys to respect women. And so, however we landed in this place in society, I don't care how we got here. I just want to know what the solution is. I want to know how we can move forward and not live this way anymore because it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So we can educate boys to be respectful of women and not to take advantage of them. We can, um, we can educate women to respect themselves and not to let anybody take advantage of them. And we'll eradicate that. But what first needs to happen is that we're publicly judging people. We go on witch hunts um, about sexuality. We really do. And if you heard that Susie has a husband and she's, you know, she's sleeping with three other people and two of them are women and ooh, that's juicy baby we want to talk about that all day long what I'm saying is that if you're judging her I encourage you to silently look within yourself and see who judged you in that way or how you're terrified to be judged in that way and really give some space to that and really be an adult and open up to the, the possibility that you're wrong um, once again I'm I'm included in this group um, I have done things that other people considered to be slutty, and I have slut bashed other people because I was not educated enough, I was not evolved enough, I was not mature enough to handle this kind of um, this, this subject matter, you know? Um, even with my mom raising me properly, even with my mom giving me my sexual power and not demanding that I, you know, meet her ideals. And so... Um, I work, I work with a lot of women who've seen a lot of trauma and what they fear the most is that their families are going to judge them or that society is going to cast them out. But when we as a, as a society decide to stand up and stop it, we just, we just stop. We give a lot of space for a lot of people to heal some things that need to really be healed. Um, a lot of people get hurt by this. A lot of people get really hurt by this and it's wholly unnecessary. This isn't like you got in a car accident and you broke your leg. This is like your friend or your family member openly discusses your very personal life. 100% avoidable. So, um, once again, this is The Ethical Slut. I suggest that all adults read this. All teenagers coming into their sexuality should be allowed to do the same. Um, it's written by Dossie Easton and Janet W. Hardy. You can find it on Amazon.com. Um, I would love to speak more on this subject. I speak about it all the time to my clients. What I want to say is that you're not bad, and you're not dirty, and you're not wrong, um, as long as you're respecting yourself. So please, stop, stop having witch hunts for people who are broken. They need your loving support. They don't need your judgment. Just like you don't need judgment from other people, they don't need your judgment. Um, it's a pretty heavy topic of conversation, I know, and it's really in-depth, and I could go on for hours and hours about it, but I want to leave with the way that you educate your kids is the way that they're going to move forward in their lives, and so if you give your kids space, and you teach your kids to respect themselves, and you don't bash your kids, um, they're, they're going to be much more likely to have healthy sexual lives later on. 
And the kids that do protect themselves um, sexually and the adults that do protect themselves sexually are people who were told to. And so if we don't talk about it, they don't know what to do. And they're just going to do whatever feels good. And oftentimes, you know, especially younger kids, oftentimes what feels good sexually is not what's healthy sexually. And so uh, please educate them on what's right and what's wrong, uh, you know, on when it's okay to touch other people, when it's not okay to touch other people, when it's okay to have people touch you. Please educate them on their sexual health. And I want you to remember that if you're judging somebody, it is 100% of the time a reflection of your inner self and has... I mean, has probably nothing to do with that person. And so you don't know if that person's been assaulted. You don't know if that person's seen severe trauma and is reacting and acting that out, you know, for attention or for a cry for help even, you know. Uh, be, be a little bit more gentle about that stuff. It's wholly unnecessary to make pe people feel bad about sexuality. Um, it's wholly unnecessary to make yourself feel bad about sexuality. If you have experienced trauma and you feel like you're giving yourself away, um, just for that instant gratification, men or women, uh, please contact me and we can talk about it. Please reach out to somebody that you can trust, a clergy member, um, a trusted clergy member, because sometimes they're shaming too. Um, so a therapist, somebody who deals with sex-positive um, life, because it can be healed. It really, truly can be healed and you don't have to live in the darkness and you don't have to wonder why you can't control yourself because of uh, something that's happened to you that had nothing to do with you, that was a power issue with somebody else. So, um, once again, this is Missy Zarbach with The Magnificent Method. Um, questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to email me or contact me directly on Facebook. I hope you're having a great Friday. Um, think about it. Think about how, how we do this to each other and how unnecessary it is. Have a great day. Bye.